Oh, good to see you. Mm. Good to see you. Really good to see you. How's life? Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. Great. 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 Everything okay at work? Mm, yeah, more or mm. less. More mm. or less. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm glad we finally had a, a chance oh, to have this yeah. meeting. Yeah. Um, because yeah. there are a yeah. few things that I, you know, I know. feel that I we know. need to discuss. Same here. Same here. Yeah, yeah. Apologies that we couldn't get it in earlier. You know, I think mm -hmm. it wasn't for one to try, but you know, one thing or another. Yeah. Great to be here, have this opportunity. Yeah. And then the house things at home. Um, not great to be honest. Not great to be oh, honest. Oh dear. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Mm. Mm. Anything, no. anything that I can do? No, no. It's just you know, it's life. You know. Yeah, yeah. The kids are yeah. fine. The kids are fine, but. Uh, um, and Mallory and I are divorced now, and we're, you know, we're sort of, um, uh, yeah, right. moved out. I, I hadn't, um, oh. I hadn't, I hadn't realised, I hadn't realised. Yeah. That, um, that yeah. must have been a, a difficult time for you. Uh, it's not been the easiest of times, you know, but, uh, you know, as I say, that's life, you know. I, I know, life. I know, I know, I know. People hey, have but, to put up with much worse. I know, know. I know. I, know. I mean, I think they, what is it, bereavement, divorce, moving house or something like that, I think is the sort of uh, the order of it, mm. um, you know, well I've just, uh, I just got divorced and just moved house, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. I've got, yeah. got yeah. two of the top three, hey, you know, having, hey, nobody died. Having been there myself, I, you know, I know what it's like and... Uh, You've been if, divorced? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 so, you know, mm. if, uh, if there's anything that I can do, mm. the door's open. Oh, good, you. you know, good to, good to support you, and uh, you know, so, so I, 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 that, that's interesting. I think that's significant, and that helps my understanding of you. And um, you know, I think that sort of openness between us is a, is a healthy thing, and I think I'd like yeah. to encourage that sort of openness as we move forward together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, what do you want to get out of this meeting today? Um, well, uh, unfortunately, um, there's a bit of an issue going on. Uh, Miss uh, Gravett, oh. which I wanted to bring to your attention, and I really want you to to okay. actually uh, resolve. Um, okay. If you can okay. see your way clear to doing that, because I think you were the person in the best position to do that. Yeah. Do you mind? I just wanted to just jot one or two notes, perhaps, as we go through. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Great. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's uh, yeah. That's the that's uh, that's. The most pressing thing, the thing you can hear at the moment, right. really, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, may, I, may I tell you what's on my agenda? Yes, absolutely. Unless there's anything else you want to add to that. I mean, feel free. Feel free. Um, well, I, I think um, career development. Okay, that's a good one. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Some good, there. good, good. Okay. Um, right. I, I mean, a couple of things for me as well. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, I want to see this as part of an ongoing thread of meetings from now onwards. Right. You know, perhaps um, either at the end of this. Sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say, let's hope that the next one is not oh, four that, months from today. Uh, no, it won't. It won't. I mean, let's hope that um, that well, we, what we will do, either at the end of this meeting or in a, in a day or two, we'll get a string of meetings in our diary at mutually convenient times. Um, I, I would suggest at this phase, probably every other week, something like that, which mm -hmm. will give us a, a sort of a thread of contact and involvement. This is on top of whatever meetings we have as a team, which I think we need to begin to get into our diary. So, you know, uh, that needs to happen. I'm conscious that it hasn't happened and it's going right. to happen. Okay, good. Which would be good. No, I, the, the, I mean, I wanted to, to um, give you a little bit of feedback about, you know, things that I've noticed mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted uh, you to give me a bit of feedback to me about how I come across, you know, how I'm coming across, because yes. I'm keen, you know, to sort of get that sort of feedback from the team as well. Right. And um, I, um, I also want to talk about a, a project that's landed on my desk recently that I think, you know, we could, we could usefully all benefit from being involved in. You know, mm -hmm. I want to begin, begin to talk about that with you, if I may. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah Great. Absolutely. Great. Okay. Now, 
because we don't know each other, we don't really know how we like to work. Um, and I suppose it's, it's really healthy to establish some sort of ground rules, you know, some sort of about, about what's appropriate and isn't appropriate in meetings like this and the way in which we might work together in a team to make everybody feel safe mm -hmm. and make everybody feel um, valued mm -hmm. and to make everybody feel comfortable. Uh, I mean, can you think of any, any sort of ground rules that we ought to have between us in, this, in meetings like this, just on a one-to-one -one basis? Um, I'm not sure if I quite understand what, what you mean. Um, can I give you an example? Yeah, please. Give me an example. There's a sort of there are one or two things about confidentiality, for example, mm -hmm. that I want you to feel that what you mention in this room, um, and particularly things that you say, hey, look, this is confidential. Mm -hmm. They don't go any further. They're between you and me. Right. Yes. 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 They are this between you and me. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's an important. That's an important one. You, you know, I won't go out of the room and talk about them with anybody else. Right. Um, but who knows? There may be one or two things I'll say to you. Do you mind if we just? You know, keep this between ourselves for the time being, mm -hmm. and it would be good to have that level of relationship. Absolutely, no, no, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's another thing there then, you, you, and I hope I'll, I'll let you know if it sort of crosses over the boundary and makes, and that so that's the issue about um, you and I talking about Mrs. Brabbit. Right. You know, there, there can be an ethical issue there for me. And I don't. I obviously want you to feel comfortable about talking about things that trouble you, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you'll understand. I can't, I can't, just because of that ground rule of confidentiality that I've just, you know, we've just agreed is a good principle to work by, mm. obviously, obviously there are some things I can't talk to you about, and I hope, you know, therefore, that that's, that's something that we can take as a, a sort of bedrock. Would that be okay? Yeah. So, so please feel free to, uh, provided it doesn't get into anything which is too, um, too defamatory, you know, or, you know, but but because uh, I, I, mean, I, I don't probably you wouldn't you wouldn't dream of touching into anything which is too which is too um, awkward. Mm. Um, but but uh, but it really, it's best if we talk, I guess, about your feelings and how you're feeling about the relationship and what's you know how it's affecting you, and then it might be better. It might give me a sense of perspective about about uh, about things. So so tell me, yeah, I mean, how 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 is the team for you? What's going on, and how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling very frustrated um, in, in terms of the relationship with, uh, with Mrs. Crawford. Um, there's a very unfortunate combination of uh, youth, inexperience and arrogance uh, in, in her. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you've probably noticed this as well. Um, she is, she's a young woman, she has very limited experience, but she is very, very hostile um, to uh, attempts to offer uh, counselling and advice um, assistance. Um, whenever any you know, new, member of, uh, new member of the team comes on board, I've always you know, seen it as part of my role to offer experience, mm -hmm. you know, to offer my experience and, you know, and, and to offer them advice and, and, to, and to help them. Um, and so I, I saw no reason not to, you know, to behave any differently with, with Mrs. Gra with Ms. Grabber. Good for you. But the problem is, as I say, she, is, she seems to be very, very hostile to it. And she seems to perceive it as um, being, as, as that I'm meddling. Um, and she's made this clear to me in, in no uncertain terms. Um, she... Uh, sees me uh, not as being a more experienced colleague, but as being someone who is determined to sort of uh, meddle in her affairs. Um, she seems to be prepared only to, uh, to go to you whenever she needs to um, query something or ask uh, you know, for advice. Um, and you know, I can't help having noticed that uh, you seem to be very um, you know, sort of, you seem to be encouraging that sort of uh, um, relationship, and and you know, and it, you know, it seems that that uh, you know, you think that's fine to you know for her to be uh, bothering you all the time with things that she could probably be, um, you know, I could be helping her with. Um, 
This culminated recently with an incident um, close to the water cooler um, where I was drawing to her attention at a mistake that she had uh, made in preparing um, a presentation for a client. I'd already pointed the error out previously um, and uh, I had to point it out again, which I did as tactfully as I could, um, and she reacted very angrily to, to that. Um, and she raised her voice and was really very aggressive and, uh, and rude and disrespectful to me in front of other colleagues, clients visiting the office. So I think it was a very serious, I take it as a very serious incident. Um, I think it was unacceptable behaviour from any colleague, but in particular from a junior colleague. Um, and uh, unfortunately, our relationship has now reached what I would call a crisis. And mm -hmm. I am, um, as things stand at the moment, I am not prepared to continue to put up with it, and I will not work with her um, until she um, accepts that her behaviour was unacceptable and modifies her behaviour towards me in the future. Um, if I could deal with it myself, I would, but as I said, my relationship with her has reached a crisis. We are at an impasse now. So really, what I'm doing is looking to you to sort of, uh, you know, to, to 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 help resolve this. Right. Okay. Um, and in a nutshell, could you have a word with her at well, this point out um, that this is unacceptable? I'm, I'm going to cover this from a bit of a tangent, actually. Um, and so bear with me. Um, I think that's important, you know, because I, I you, you, thanks for, you know, telling me how it feels and, you know, what your experience in the situation is. And I think, um, clearly, there's, some, there's a situation there that needs to be resolved. Yeah. Absolutely clear. Absolutely clear. Yeah. Um, and and prob probably this difficulty does take precedence over some of these other things that we've got on our agenda to talk about because we don't get this sorted first in a way these other things can't happen and can't you know function effectively mm -hmm. you know team the team development mm -hmm. you know you, you know you're feeling stuck you know your career development and so forth and uh, um, I, I mean I think there is some overlap there with the question I was going to ask you about how am I doing as a leader yes because there could be some implications there for me in the way in which I'm leading the team mm -hmm. in this situation, the fact that it's now as it is, and there could be some things that I'm doing differently. Um, and um, so, so that it's interesting, and you, you know, you, 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 you're sowing some seeds. Tell me, tell me that. I think, I mean, one of the things that I want to establish, so just I understand more clearly where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you see as the ingredients of good team working? You know, if you were to look at yeah. your teams that you've worked in that had, that had functioned well in the past, I mean, what, what, is it you, what is it you notice about a team that functions healthily? Okay, um, mutual respect. So there's mutual respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Open communication. Open communication. And a clear understanding of one's each person's position and role within the team. Oh, okay. So there's not a lot of ambiguity about role and position. Mm. Yeah. I think that those to me are the three key elements of, of good teamwork. So mutual respect, mm. open communication, mm -hmm. clear understanding about roles and position. Mm. Right. Okay, okay. Would you agree with that? I, th I think that I think they, really they I, I, th I, th I think I think they sound um, a very good basis for for our dis you know discussion between us about you know what it is a healthy team looks like. Mm. You know I think I think that's, that is. I mean clearly we need to define our terms and uh, we need to understand what each of these mean because they might mean slightly different things to each of us. Sure. But. Um, um, uh, and, and of course, all of these things are reciprocal, mm -hmm. you know, aren't, aren't they? You know, mm -hmm. we want to see them within the team, yeah. and we want to see each member in the team displaying those behaviours yeah. or or attempting to resolve issues arising out of them. So we all have some responsibility. So talking, you know, if we talk about that, 
what do you see as your responsibilities or what behaviours from you that would demonstrate mutual respect to each and every other member of the team, mm. for example? Mm. You know, what, what, how would that manifest itself if you were display if I was to observe you exhibiting mutual, you know, a respect for others? Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, I think um, being polite in the first instance, right? Um, uh, you know, so that no matter what pressure we're under, no matter what the sort of uh, the deadline is that we're up against, um, that when we ask uh, for assistance or we have a request to make of another member of the team that we do it in a, in a polite in a polite way you we don't, don't, you we don't, don't lose our tempers we don't raise our voices no. and become sort of you know belligerent okay. or, or aggressive in tone no matter what the pressure no matter what the pressure you always be polite mm. would be, you know you would hope to demonstrate that sort of behavior absolutely right okay absolutely okay well, that, i think that sounds that sounds um, laudable and, and, and very healthy. Mm -hmm. In terms of openness of communication, mm -hmm. what, what sort of standards, what sort of behaviours, what sort of things would we witness, say, if you were demonstrating an openness of communication? Um, I think um, that uh, I would be honest and upfront. Honest and upfront. So that I mean that. Uh, if there is a if there's an issue, yeah. if there's a problem, yeah. that I would mention it up front yeah. and and make that the you know clearly the, the topic of discussion yeah. rather than disguising it, um, you know, not bringing it up, but instead uh, Perhaps having a conversation about something completely different yeah. with an attitude that is informed yeah. by the you know the thing like that it is that I'm talking about. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. And then thirdly, there's you know clear understanding about role and position. Mm. Uh, how would you, how would you seek to crystallise those things so there was less ambiguity about your roles and responsibilities and those of others within the team? Uh, what sort of process? behaviour would you engage in to go, go about um, getting a clearer understanding? Right, well I think that um, one's uh, abilities and experience should yeah. be reflected in yeah. one's status. Um, and uh, you know in an ideal world you would imagine that you know that would just happen without the need for titles and you know etc etc. But we live in the real world, and, and I think sometimes titles can just sort of well, they can. clarify things, can't they? Well, I, I think titles can. I'm, I'm more interested in this word respect mm. that you mentioned. Uh, well, sorry, I'm more interested in, uh, yeah, the, the, the respect grows and develops, perhaps arising out of the ability and experience that one has, mm. um, and respect is something which. Uh, develops through time with other team members. Yes, it can come, sometimes come through some formal position of power and authority, mm -hmm. but the respect can also be generated um, in other ways. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but, I, but I certainly wouldn't refute all of, all of that. In fact, if I was little, I would refute there. Um, in fact, I think that would be a great starting point to think about, you know, what are we about as a team? What sort of standards, what sort of values do we subscribe to as a team? Mm. How do we want to begin to interrelate with it to each other from now onwards mm. as a team? Mm. And I think what I'd like to propose, I mean I should probably have a similar sort of discussion with other colleagues, mm. you know, and ask them a similar sort of set of questions and try and distill something from it from it. But I think I'd like to call a team meeting very shortly and to come up with some sort of synthesis about those sorts of issues that we might all agree are good benchmarks against which all of us, all of us, can uh, measure our behaviour. That's Mrs. Grammert, Mrs. Fair, myself and yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, and all of us then could reasonably be challenged and challenge ourselves against those external benchmarks that we're all agreeing um, and subscribing to. Yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. 
I, you know, that it seems to me, it seems to me, it, rather than me, the leader, saying, you know, there they sit over there, clear benchmarks. I, I you know, I like that way of moving forward. Mm. Mm. And I think you've created some um, some thinking there for me, which uh, um, I, I think is going to help. And I, and I think and hope and believe it would help as far as Mrs. Gravitt's relationship with you is concerned. Mm. But you need obviously, we need obviously, um, through time, through time to sort that out. Mm. No, I agree because um, I mean I think that's the, the, there has been a, a lack of clarity in in, in the. In people's roles and positions, which I think yeah. has contributed to this situation. Yeah. There is one other thing that I would like to, you know, to, to, to mention as well. And it has been noted, and this is not just you know, my oh. own personal experience, uh, my own personal opinion, yeah. um, there is a feeling that, um, that Miss Gravett is something of a, a favourite of yours. That there's a, okay. But there's that's, a particular that's close what, relationship there. It's, it's, it's and a that's what it's coming over to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And not, and not just okay. me personally, but I think okay. most people at large. Okay. Thanks for that feedback. Any other any other bits of feedback about my leadership or anything else that to, worthwhile me me knowing and understanding? Um. Well, just that. Um, I mean, I think you're. You know, I. Th I, I, I. I. You know, I, I've enjoyed. You know the, the sort of uh, influence that you've brought into the, to the department, and yeah. I appreciate yeah. the fact that you know, to a large extent, you've you know, yeah. let me get on with what I'm doing. Um, but it has been very hard to get a hold of you and to actually you know, get your attention. Okay. Um, whereas Miss Gravett seems to have had no such difficulty, and that does. I think the, I think the risk for you is just that that does open up the okay. impression that. That okay. uh, for certain people your door is always open, but for others you would be not be bothered. If you know, if, if truth be told, that's helpful. I mean, ob obviously, to hear you say that, you know, I, I take note of that. Similarly, similarly, could, do you mind if I raise one or two things with you? No. And I know. And similarly, in the way in which I hope, I <coughs> hope to. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, ho hopefully, you know, I can, I, you give me something to think about there. Mm. Um, um, you think that's you know, I'm, I'm not, not going to I'm not going to seek to defend it or to explain it at the moment. You know, it's, it's, but it's interesting to, to have, have that feedback. Similarly, can I put one or two things on the table in front of you? Simply, I'm not expecting an answer today. Mm. You've no need to defend them at all. You've no need to explain explain them for the moment. Um, but you know, you've. You've gone through a difficult period personally, and I thank you for sharing that with me. And, I'm, and I think probably that does actually explain quite a lot. Uh, looking on from a distance, um, I I thought, crikey, this is not a chap that's been described to me, you know, by the, by your previous boss. It, there, there are there are just you know, it, it seemed that you weren't full of the old the old the old vigour for which you were once renowned. And I think probably, if, you know, for our personal issues, that could have, that could help explain it. Um, I think, um, and who knows, you know, another, you're just trying to put all the pieces together on the table, you know, so you have that personal difficulty. You know, there are difficulties in the office with Mrs. Gravert. Um, and um, you, you seem to be involved quite heavily with the professional association work. Now, I happen to think that's, that's actually very helpful. Um, it, it does seem to me that you're engaging it a lot at the moment, um, and probably increasing amount of involvement. Is, is that linked in any way? Do you think with these other two issues? I mean, you, how do you, how do you, um, do you think there's? A, do you, I mean, you know, the fact that you are so heavily involved with them is is that is that in any way, shape, or form? The fact there's an increasing involvement is that in any way, shape, or form? A reflection of how you're feeling here in the business. Um, a little bit. Is it? I mean, a little bit. Uh, in yeah. the sense that I, um, I do feel that I've been slightly taken for granted. Right. Here. Um, yeah. And you know, whilst I, you know, I can, I totally, um, I, you know, I don't have an issue with the fact that I, you know, was not promoted 
internally, you know, to your mm. present position, but you were actually invited in. I, 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 I can understand the reasons um, for that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but I think generally I do feel as if um, my contribution um, is not, it's kind of taken for granted a bit. I think I've right. contributed so much over such a long period of time that I yeah. do feel that, that, that yeah. it's taken for granted now. Um, I would never, I would like to think, I mean, the, you know, my, the figures, my sales figures, oh. you know, are, oh, no, are no, not no, so, no. yeah. Oh, they're good, they're good, they're good. Um, they're good. You know, I, but I'm seeking new challenges all the time, and, uh, and to be honest, um, some of the more interesting fresher challenges mm. have come from uh, my involvement with the, the trade association. I, I can see that. But yeah. I think you know there is real tangible benefit I for do. the company. I do, I do, I do. It'd be too easy to ignore that. Real tangible benefits for the company. Super position you've got, the perspective it offers about mm. you know things at a global scale and all the mm. rest of it. And an apology as well it is due because I'm I don't think I've uh, applauded yet, or indeed strongly enough, um, the rather refreshing stance you took to the DP project. You know that. I mean, uh, I mean, you know that was delivered in a timely way. That was a challenge you grasped. You know, you grasped the baton, and you uh, really, really delivered something which was super. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And it's interesting to hear about the way in which you relish challenge. Uh, you know things that interest you. Um, you, know, are, are you. Are you game for further challenge? Are you, Always. You are. Yeah. 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 Great. Because I mean, as I say, as I say, there's there is something around the corner for us. I think could help, um, which will really, I think, galvanise things around here. Mm -hmm. um, we've got. Have you, have you had a, heard any whispers at all about the OSS project? I have. Yeah, you see, there's something that we could. Mm -hmm. I think I think we could get our teeth into. Mm -hmm. We could get our teeth into in a meaningful sort of way. And if I may, um, I'd like to to uh, sort of rest assured that, that together we can uh, we can um, work together on that and um, and collaborate from mm -hmm. you know using obviously your perspective and so forth mm -hmm. to, to, to to bring. Uh, I think once again. Um, um, success for us, for the team, yeah. and yeah. individually as well for the business. So, would it be okay? Can I count on you then mm -hmm. to, um, you know, get stuck in there? Uh, because if I were to call a meeting next week, say, um, of, uh, you know, which specifically looked at OSS, mm -hmm. uh, so we can get the ball rolling, mm -hmm. um, would that be okay with you? Absolutely. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it looks to me as if a really exciting um, project, actually, doesn't mm -hmm. it? You know, I mean, because mm -hmm. the, the frustrations that we have from customers and so forth about the way in which prices are uh, are uh, really fragmented globally is mm -hmm. it must be, I, mean, I can understand how some of them are feeling. Have you have you sent some of that frustration? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, this is uh, yeah. I mean, I've discussed this uh, with. Uh, Colleagues through the association, yeah, yeah. You know, in various parts of the world. Really, um, as you say, I mean, you know, sort of a global perspective on it, and, and it, uh, you know, I think uh, it's long overdue. And I was actually championing um, the, the the need for an OSS type initiative. Um, Brilliant. You know, yeah, over a year ago. Right. So right. I'm glad to see that it's uh, it's actually you know, about to be implemented. Okay, we we. Um, we're coming to the end in a few moments of this session. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything you want to put on the agenda for our meeting next week, over and above the OSS, or is that you know I'm thinking thinking of the, the the schedule of meetings we've got ahead? Um, we probably haven't covered everything. I mean, the, you know, career development is something we could pick up in our next meeting. Is there anything else you want to put on the agenda? Uh, no, I don't think. I mean, the the, the two issues for me remain yeah. the same as they were. They sure. Me, sure, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the situation with Ms. Grabber, I think, yeah. you have to do with that. Yeah. Um, and uh, and also some clarity, perhaps, on what you're going to do about appointing an equity. Oh, that right. was, that's oh, really what I was okay. meaning about yeah. you know career yeah. um, development. Right. Um, so that's an interesting notion. It's an interesting notion. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. It is customary that there is a number two. 
and uh, I think looking at other departments that 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 you know you see in some departments that's the case and others not mm -hmm. but um, I, um, I yeah I'm very happy to, to I'm very happy that we continue to have some dialogue about that mm -hmm. particularly in line of you know what we've talked about uh, before today okay we'll keep talking about that mm -hmm. you know thinking of your career development um, and thinking about um, um, I, th I think um, particularly thinking about team and team dynamics you know what's right for the team mm -hmm. how can we facilitate things so I think this picks up your crystallization of roles and responsibilities and positions point doesn't it yeah and I think yeah. I think you know you know there are things that we can do whether that's the right answer you and I need to debate that a bit further yeah. I think you know mm -hmm. but um, let's not kick it out of out of court that idea straight away let's think about it and debate it mm -hmm. but I do want um, to underline the fact that in some way shape or form your experience your talents you know all of that um, needs acknowledging well thank you no, yeah good to hear yeah yeah Hey, I've enjoyed this meeting. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much for coming along. No, so we'll sorry. get we'll get something in our diary for next week. A yeah. couple of things then I think. Yeah. OSS, team meeting ahead very soon. Mm -hmm. And another one to one for yourself and myself very shortly. Yeah. Does that sound okay? That sounds you know very good. Yeah. Anything else comes to mind, pop your head around the door and we can uh, you know we can uh, we can add that to the agenda so to speak. Sure. Great. Good. Hey, good to see you. And you good too. to see you. Great. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay.